How's everybody doing? Welcome into Tuned Into No Co. Today we have the Ram Strength Executive Director, Michelle Boyle, with us. So first off, Michelle, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. I actually appreciate it. Yeah, this is great. So to begin, for our listeners who don't know, can you explain what Ram Strength is all about? Sure. Ram Strength is a local nonprofit, and what we do is we provide financial assistance for the basic needs of our local cancer survivors right here in Larimer and Weld counties. Um, we help with things such as rent payment, mortgage payment, utility bills, prescription co-pays, gas cards to and from chemo, whatever the greatest need might be for the patient at the time. Ram Strength comes in and helps cover those expenses. We also provide scholarships for CSU students who've been affected by cancer and otherwise could not afford tuition. So this year we have 13 students at CSU on a Ram Strength scholarship for tuition assistance. And then we also provide scholarships for kids with cancer in the area to attend um, local camps in the summer for children with cancer and their siblings. Wow. That's so neat. Now, I don't know if you have the statistic on this or not, but how many individuals with cancer or who have been affected by cancer do you help with like monthly or yearly? Okay. So we have 2021, we helped over 130 families wow. here in Well County. And then since we started distributing funds, I believe in 2008, this is a pretty good stat too. Um, so the number of patients receiving funds to date since we started uh, distributing funds in 2008 is 2,136 patients here in Larimer and Well counties. Wow, that's incredible. Now to help fundraise, you guys can help these families. You guys obviously host a bunch of different events, but you have an event coming up October 6th at New Belgium Brewery. It's a run, I believe. What should people know? Yes. So this um, Waypoint real estate company has really taken charge of this event. Josh Guernsey is used to be um, the president of our board and is still a very active volunteer um, and really believes in the cause. So he kind of headed this up. It's called, it's a 0.5K for Ram Strength. So something different. Um, I don't know if you would necessarily call it a big run, but a 0.5K just around the New Belgium campus there is what is going to happen. We're going to have face painters, Kona Ice for the kids, food truck, There'll be music. Uh, of course, the adults receive two um, drink coupons when they enter for $15 and they get to enjoy, you know, some nice new Belgian brew there. Yeah. But uh, just something just something different uh, versus like a normal, you know, 5K. We decided to be kind of fun to do a 0.5K. You know, we'll have somebody lead in stretches. We'll have a water stations, if you will. Um, and it's, it, it just should be a lot of fun. It's a fun family event to get together with friends after work on Thursday. I think registration starts at four. The race starts at five 30, but just a fun way to get together, have a couple beers after work, um, let your kids have some fun with the face painter, the Kona ice. And there's just so much to do at New Belgium anyway. I think it'll be a great evening. Yeah. That sounds like a blast. Plus, yeah, 0.5K sounds great to me. Now, how can people register for this? Do they register at the event or can they do it online? They can do both. They can do it at the event and then they can do it online at ramstrength.org. Great. And how much are tickets? $15. And kids, I believe 12 and under are free. Great. And for this event, is there a certain number you guys hope to hit as you fundraise? Uh, this is uh, in you know the very first time we've done it. So we're just kind of going to see how it goes. What we'd like to do is just build on it every year. And if we can get a couple of hundred people out there and raise money for the cause, that would be awesome. And then each year we just like to see that uh, registration increase. And then with the registration increase, you know, the amount we raise will increase as well. Right. All right. So if someone say is unable to attend, is there another way they can donate to you guys? Absolutely. We always take donations year round at ramstrength.org. So you can always go to our website. It also gives an address. If you want to mail a check, that's great too. And then we'll have other events coming up throughout 
the year, the next one coming up is we have this, a tailgate for the CSU tackle cancer game and state pride game on October 22nd. Cool. So if they can't make this one, maybe they can come on the 22nd and then we will participate in Colorado gives day as well. And I believe it's December. It's usually that first, second week in December. So we'll start having information out on that on our website, but always can donate online at ramstrength.org. Great. Thank you. Now, are you guys in need for volunteers for this 0.5K? I think we're in pretty good shape. If somebody really wants to volunteer, again, they can just go to info at ramstrength.org and choose an email and I will get them to our volunteer coordinator and we'll find something for them to do. Great. Awesome. You guys heard that. Please head out to the Ram Strength 5K Run, 0.5K Run. It's going to be at New Belgium Brewery and will raise money for those who are dealing with cancer. There will be face painting, Kona Ice, prizes, games, and more. To register, you can head to ramstrength.org. So you mentioned a few other events that Ram Strength will be hosting. What is the tailgating event? So the tailgate event, we have done this kind of like the 0.5K started out just with a small group of people and it's grown to about, uh, we usually have about two to 300 people come and anybody can come, you register online and you get a pig roast, uh, great sides catered by DC Oaks. And then we have adults and um, beverage, alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. And that's all with your ticket price of $40 for an adult plus a, a t-shirt that will be for the game, which is state pride. So we'll have a Colorado colors to match the team's colors as well. Fun. It's right by Ram town. So the kids can go enjoy Ram town, the band, the football team, they'll all walk by um, the tailgate and all the proceeds for the tailgate go to our scholarship program where we provide scholarships for CSU students who've been affected by cancer. Okay. So we get everything, yeah, donated in everybody. This town is so amazing and generous. We get everything, all the food donated, all the drinks donated. So literally that cost of a ticket price to the tailgate will go to our scholarship fund that helps students who otherwise would not be able to attend school because of a hardship due to either having cancer or having a parent or, a, you know, an immediate family member having cancer. Right. Yeah. Well, that's incredible what you guys do. Speaking of these scholarships, if someone is listening that could use a little extra help, how do they apply for a scholarship or get the services that you guys offer? Absolutely. So if you are a CSU student and you have had cancer really affect your life, you just go through um, this financial office, what is it, student affairs office at CSU where they list all the scholarships and then we're one of them. So it's basically if a student's applying for a scholarship, they go on to the CSU website, apply for a scholarship and the Ram Strength, Lubick Foundation Ram Strength will be there. And they, they just have to be able to answer the question that they um, have either had cancer or had a media family member. Wow. Have cancer. Okay. Well, that's. And if they can't find it, they can always, um, email, they can go on to ramstrength.org and there's information about it on our website. And I can also send them a link, but it's actually through CSU financial services. When they go to apply for any type of financial aid or scholarships, we're listed as one as well. Okay. Wow. What about the other services that you guys offer? I know you mentioned some in the beginning. Do you mind just going in a little more oh, detail? Yeah. So the, um, like I said, we've helped we have about 150 to 200 patients here locally in Lerner and Well counties with basic needs such as rent, mortgage, utilities, gas, um, coupons, grocery certificates. So in order to apply for that funding, you would either go through wherever hospital you first were diagnosed or are getting treated, whether it's UC Health or um, Banner McKee. We have funds at both. We work with both their social workers to help deploy those funds. And if you get a hold of one of the social workers, they will walk you through the application process. It's one page and we literally can turn a check around in about a week. Wow. Yeah. A patient can come in and not have rent money on a Monday. And I've heard that we can turn it around by Friday if need be because of every, because everything's local here. We work with the local hospitals and they in turn okay. work with, 
you know, the patients here locally. So it's a quick turnaround. It's an easy application process. So if somebody's out there struggling, please, please, please contact whatever hospital you are being treated at. Um, tell them that you heard about Ram Strength Funds and see if you qualify. Perfect. And there's no age restriction, right, on this? No, no age restriction and there's no cancer restriction. We're not, we help all kinds of cancer patients. So whether it's breast, thyroid, lymphoma, um, pancreatic, whatever the cancer may be, we're here for you. That's so great. Wow. Now let's kind of switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about you. How did you get involved with Ram Strength? Okay, so in 2006, my younger brother was diagnosed at 28 with a rare form of cancer called rhabdomyosarcoma. He was a football coach at CSU at the time, and it was just devastating. We don't really have cancer in our family, and to see him go through all the treatments, the chemo, the radiation, I would have taken that treatment for him in a heartbeat, as would my parents, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. And I was sitting with him at Children's, he had to be treated at Children's Hospital because he had a children's cancer. And, you know, he looked at me and said, if I don't make it, promise me you'll give back. And I said, well, you're going to make it and I will give back. And so that's just kind of how um, this was formed, really. It was, he was the inspiration behind it. And he did make it. He's, that was in 2006 and we're in 2020. And he went on, he's a coach for the Buffalo Bills and he went on to get married wow. and have two kids. So yeah. yeah, very, very blessed that we just continued. When we started this, we had no idea. We wanted to help people at a local level. We felt like the best way to help as many people and really have an impact was with their basic needs. And we started distributing funds in 2008. And here we are in 2020, um, as strong as ever. And we just continue to help people when they need it. I'm hoping that one day we won't need RAM strength. I'm hoping that we can find a cure for cancer and people don't have to struggle through this. But until that time comes, we'll be here to support along the way. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know that when it comes to cancer, it costs so much. The oh, medical just bills are that. just, yeah. It's physically, cancer is physically devastating emotionally and then financially. And so we kind of want to come alongside and not have the patients worry so much about the financial piece so they can really just focus on getting better. But yeah, and people are living longer with cancer, which is great. But as they continue to be treated for several years, those costs, I think like to see a specialist, most co-pays are like a hundred dollars every time you see a specialist and then you could be seen three or four in, in one week, you know, that adds hey, up. Yeah, oh yeah. And we've helped families who's uh, children have had cancer. And so they're living in Fort Collins or driving to children's hospital back and forth, you know, several times a week. You think of the gas prices now oh, I know. Having back and forth to, you know, children's each week. And then, um, yeah. And then like a parent has to stop working because they have to be with a sick child and it's just devastating to a family. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, it's great what you guys do. As you have worked with Ram Strength, how have you seen it help? cancer survivors and their families or those dealing with current cancer treatment? No, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so we actually, I just went and visited a person, one of our survivors, or she's still, you know, working through it in Greeley and literally, um, like her son didn't have a place to sleep there. Her trailer needed so much repair and her Ram strength was able to help with those repairs, help with her rent I mean, this is a person working through chemo out in the field, picking vegetables and Ram Strength was able to give her a little bit of relief. But I mean, I think she only took off two weeks because her kids depend on her. They depend on her income. And I mean, the stories that you see, these cancer patients are really the inspiration, how they can continue to fight through it, work through it, uh, physically work through it, provide for their family. I mean, it's just... It's incredible. We had another student on scholarship, kind of a non-traditional student. She was diagnosed with cancer, going back to be a teacher, young children during the pandemic. So not only is she taking a full load of classes, she's always also having to having to help teach her, you know, two kids during the pandemic and fighting cancer at the same oh time. Gosh, yeah. I, mean, I just want to be in bed, you know, until like <laughs> right? 
both here in Ports my treatment, but I mean, in our scholarship recipients, many of them were diagnosed while they were at CSU and continue to take a full load of classes. We had a vet student, a young gal, she was diagnosed probably sophomore year of college and she still took a full load, still got into vet school. Wow. All the way through chemotherapy. Yeah. It's like in awe of these people. So it's, it's truly an honor. I mean, I've not met, um, I've met so many people that Ram Strength has helped, but I feel like, gosh, they help me. They inspire me. They inspire our board, our volunteers, because just the inner strength that it takes to get through cancer, plus to take care of a family or to yeah. keep up with classes. It's just, right. it's truly inspirational. Yeah. Cause it's not just, I mean, obviously the treatments is a huge part, but life still goes on. They got to show up to work or school or, and, and they all the support still, they can get. And they're so grateful. They, a lot of times I have to encourage, I'll hear a story and even the social workers say they have to encourage them to apply for Ram Strength Get Funds because they're, they're so proud, you know, and they just, um, I know one of the social workers said they gave uh, a grant to this lady to help with her rent and she hadn't cried through the whole process and she just finally broke down and cried and said well when do I need to pay it back and they said no this is a gift you don't have to pay it back and it was just like you're kidding me and somebody cares about me who's never met me and that's what this Fort Collins you know Loveland Windsor the surrounding areas this community is so great and no we don't have to know you but we can still care about you Absolutely. And those are the areas that Ramstrake serves. Is it all of like Northern Colorado? It's, it's just Larimer and Weld counties. And Weld counties. Okay. Yeah. Basic needs. Yes. So um, that's so great. Well, it's so it all, yeah, it all stays local, which is cool. So you, the money raised is all raised locally and then it's all distributed locally. So yeah. it's, it's really a neat, it's just a neat organization to be part of. And it's fun to see, um, the people that we've helped and how far they've come and getting them on that other side. And then they, and then we've had a lot of people who once they're feeling better, they want to come and help and volunteer and give back, which is great. Yeah. Wow. That's so great. I guess moving forward, is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know about Ram strength or the event, the 0.5 K event you guys have coming up? I think just this, I think it's going to be a fun event. It's uh, the first one. That I've ever heard about in Fort Collins, a 0.5K. I mean, you don't have to be a runner, but I think it could. And if you are, just let your hair down a little bit, come out, have fun. I think it's just going to be a great time. Yeah, you guys, you heard that. It's sure to be a great event. Head to Ram Strength 0.5K. It's going to be at the New Belgium Brewery on October 6th. And registration's at 4 p.m. The race will start at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are just $15 and kids under 12 are free. So make sure you head out there. They're raising money for a great cause. There's also going to be face painting, Kona Ice Prizes, games, and more. So bring the whole family to register. Or for more information, you can head to ramstrength.org org. Michelle, thank you so much. This was great. Thanks, Ashley. I appreciate the opportunity.